Hey, my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and get into the YouTubers, shall we? Now, we know that Kiana J and Abby Nicole have been friends for years, and unfortunately, these two have decided to end their friendship. Yes, after multiple collaborations together on YouTube videos, TikTok videos, business endeavors together, now they have decided to end their friendship. These two were shading each other heavy on their Instagram yesterday. Let's go ahead and first get into what Kiana J had to post because she really spilled the tea. First, she posted and she said, even the people who betrayed pray you are a part of the plan then she posted and she said i'm cutting anybody off that do snake ish behind my back secretly in competition with me only support me for their benefit don't add no value to my life I don't do the internet games take your cut off and please and move on if i gotta get on this mf internet and really do that i'll be wrong i'm spraying a lot of you mfs try me because i'm fed up i do the cutting off so that's kiana j letting it be known that she cut off abby nicole because she felt like she was on some snake ish that's from her words in competition with her secretly and she was only supporting her for her benefit seemingly this is what she's saying now a supporter decided to dm her and they said stop giving these mfs access to you and the ones that's business have them sign something stating that this is a business do not attach your name to anything other than if not follow, tax them. That will make people stop. Kiana J replied to this and she said, so many people been telling me this and I keep learning the hard way thinking MF's genuine because I'm a genuine a person. I'm real and I be expecting you internet, Instagram, YouTube, MF's to be the same way and y'all are not. I learn and learn and learn every year, but this time I'm standing on everything and I'm not the one. Now, Abby Nicole decides to post, like I said, these two were kind of going back and forth, responding to each other on their Insta stories. And Abby Nicole reposted something that said, I'm so locked in with myself, I don't care who I lose. And then she commented and said, literally don't give a single F, indicating that she doesn't care if she lost Kiana J as a friend. Then she reposted and said, I would have never done that to you, but okay. And then she said, 10 out of 10, this is always the case, but you learn to stop expecting you from people who just ain't like you. I'm gonna still keep being me though. Y'all be blessed. Like I said, this is unfortunate that Abby Nicole and Kiana J are no longer friends. Of course, two beautiful women who were collaborating, really doing some big things with each other. And I guess they just couldn't see eye to eye anymore. But as Kiana J was saying, she said that she felt like Abby Nicole was a snake y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section well, speaking of long-term relationships let's go ahead and get into carmen and corey now, i know you guys probably already heard that carmen and corey have broken up but i have not spoken about it on this youtube channel we know that Carmen and Corey have been together since 2016. These two have two kids together. They embarked on this YouTube journey together. We've been watching them for years. And I think it's a shocking to a lot of their fans and just everybody who has watched them in general that they actually decided to end their relationship. I mean, it was so unbelievable because these two have done multiple pranks on them, supposedly ending their relationship. A lot of people didn't even believe it this time, but it looked to be very true. I mean, Carmen uploaded this two-part series onto her YouTube channel of her explaining her side of the story, her breaking her silence and letting it be known that she's moving on with her life. She even moved her and the boys into an apartment. And that's kind of how we knew it was real. Now, Corey has spoken out as well. He made a YouTube telling his truth, letting it be known that he decided to end the marriage between him and Carmen. And to be completely honest, watching both of their videos and looking at them now, both of them seem happier without each other, which is sad to say, but it's very much true. If you guys have been watching them, you would see it. I mean, Corey even uploaded to his Insta story a couple of days ago saying that there was like months ago or years ago that he wanted to end the relationship with him and Carmen, but he didn't want to leave it because of the boys. And he was getting very emotional because he didn't want to leave his boys. Now that these two have moved into their own places and that they have moved on, like I said, they just look happier without each other, which is good for them. It's good for their fans, too, because we get to see a different side of them. I feel like we're definitely seeing a different side of Carmen. But it is, like I said, just very unfortunate because we've seen these two since 2016 start their YouTube channel, have kids. Preferably, a lot of their fans would love to see them together. But if they are happier apart and they're thriving apart, then that's just the best thing as long as... 
they're doing well co-parenting okay there's a lot of people who doubt that this breakup between them is going to last but i don't doubt it i feel like it's just officially over this time you guys let me know how you felt if you're a carmen and Corey fan when you heard that these two had ended their relationship it's just a good thing that these two are striving even with being single now let's go ahead and move into our last topic which is going to be tay and jazz these two have reunited with each other which fans have been waiting for for some time now fans really thought it wasn't going to happen Lil perfect was the first one to upload this collaboration video between the two and let me tell you their fans are going completely crazy i mean Lil Perfect uploaded this video five hours ago and it's already at 400,000 views. That's a lot of views. That's how much people wanted to see these two reunited, back together, watch the video. These two were definitely vibing out with each other. Not saying that they're back in a relationship, but it is a good thing to see that these two can actually be cool with each other. I mean, and they're setting a good example. You can be cool with your ex, okay? They're both single. Now, people wanted to see a longer video. Some people were a little disappointed. One person wrote to Twitter and they said, if it's under one hour, we throwing down the reverse Uno card and whooping y'all. Lil Perfect responded to this and she said, her video is at least 40 minutes real deep. Mine is two segments of a vibe pretty sure that y'all want to see the full 360 we didn't just give y'all serious we gave vibes too like i said i did think it was a very good video if you guys have not seen it definitely check it out and let me know what you think in the comment section if you have already checked it out but this is the end of this video my lovely tts thank you so much for watching room for tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time i upload Follow me on Instagram at Room for Tea with two A's at the end. And like I always say, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a blessed rest of your night.